Today, we are going to talk about all the drama that's going around in these YouTube streets between the criers and the muckers. Erica, she is a crier and Latoya is a mucker. Yeah. So, these are strictly my thoughts and opinions. And the reason why I'm talking on this is because they bring the drama to YouTube. So, we're going to speak on it. Erica called Latoya a woodpecker and Latoya called her a roach. Her meaning the woodpecker. Roach, the liar roach. I don't These people need to get it together because they are all making themselves look very stupid. I can say this is Latoya's first time responding. Erica call the girl B's and H's. You know what, Rakana? I see now, you know what? That's not why I called you. It's still disrespectful that you even still bring it up a DNA test. When I called you specifically... It's not. The court's going to need it, though. The, the court is going to need it for child support. I can't just willingly pay you child support without that established. This is Texas. I have not mentioned anything about child support. I'm putting myself on child support. I know I you didn't mention it. That's what I want to do. She, I'm protecting convinced, myself. I don't know what she You're convinced Damien. That, any conversation she had with Damien prior to me has nothing to do with me if they had a conversation about that. I'm specifically talking about me and protecting myself. I have two children already prior to you, so... It's the same difference. They they're on child support. That's so I'm not really concerned about whatever anybody else is doing. They don't have nothing to do with. It. I know I know how the state but of Texas works. Right? Do what? You can marry her, right? And her toxicity is going to leap over into us co-parenting effectively because I don't want you. You don't want me. I can go pick you a girlfriend. But I felt like you needed to know that this girl is the one, the reason why everything is raising it is, and it's like you don't even care. All you care about is Dan. How about asking me, well, is he okay? Can I FaceTime him? That's what you should be doing. That shouldn't be the first thing out your mouth. That, well. So your homeboy is not in the car with you. She in the car with you. Okay, if that's what you want to think, that's fine. The point is, that needs to be established for myself. Take anybody out of the situation. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. In so order for me to move forward, I mean. So she's making you put yourself on child support. I'm putting myself on child support, just like my other children is on child support prior to Latoya. It has nothing to do with. Did you did you push yourself on top? I sure did. I sure did. No, you didn't, dude. Stop lying. Okay. You just pussy whipped behind this bitch, and this bad of bitch is out here. I can get you a badass bitch right now, but you so goddamn pussy whipped behind this. Hole. So what pussy whip got to do with you and the way that you move? Because you move foul. You was disrespectful. You were disrespectful before her. I don't think you feel hurt. And I'm no, I'm not hurt. Hurting. I'm moved past that. Yeah, That's why I'm talking about the baby at this point. Because there's nothing else to establish other than other than me being the parent or, or not. You know, and go ahead and you're, you're get right. that, that play going. You know what? You're, you're right. You're right. So how does it feel to have a mini me that you're not around? That you that you're even call the checkup on? He has your face, dude. The, the baby boy that you've always wanted, he hasn't even been freaking. That's why I bought everything for him. That's why I bought all the stuff for him. While, while you're doing whatever, while you think nothing is happening behind, things, the, the things that that matter is happening. I just don't have to have a conversation about it or get a pat on the back. Of it. That's the difference. I'm not doing anything for accolades. I do it because it's the right thing to do. So that's two entirely different things right there. So, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would like to, to keep him for the weekend. You know, that's the stuff I'm talking about. 
So you can have your full you break and all of that. That's why I'm getting the court system involved. You don't. It's not about you. It's about the baby, right? It's You're about right. the baby, You're right? right? Okay then. Right. So as a mature adult, if, if it's about the baby, you got to put your ego and feelings to the side and do the right thing. No baby is going to be any danger with me. Right I love children. And even if it was based on, a, you know, baby coming into the world the wrong way, I'm still going to do it. I'm, I'm going to. I'm still gonna do my part. I don't, the baby's not gonna gonna suffer because you and I are not together. So that's just what it's gonna be. Okay, so, okay, with this child support stuff, so we would have to get a DNA test? Yes, that's how it's, the state of Texas has it. We sure do. They're not gonna okay. take my okay. word for it. I don't even know the child's full name. So yes, that all that has to be established. And you want me, so let me get this clear. You want me to put my ego to the side so that you and your hoe can be around my son. And she's so you're going to keep disrespecting. Why are you so disrespectful? Like, if you're not. Okay, so you don't. I'm, I'm not going to. Dis... I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not going to just sit here and let you just disrespectful for no rhyme or reason when it ain't even about her it's about the baby like do you want us to he healthy co-parent or not i don't understand hey there is no us she's okay. not co-parenting shit i'm not talking about her i said us Please, i have a home you have yeah. a home right excuse me i have a home you have a home right So you got your little homeboy recording this? I have a... Okay, I, I know what this is. You're recording, clearly, as usual. Can't have a, a well, regular conversation. Because you keep bringing up recordings. For what? I ain't saying nothing that's recording worthy. I said, I have a home, you have a home. Well, have Meaning... A she really hates Latoya. Every time she talks to Mucker, she brings up Latoya. She better let that hurt go. Did y'all see the title of Erica's video? She titled it, My Poor Baby and Holding a Baby Acting As If She Wants to Cry. What was the purpose? It's truly sad how she is using her child. Then she has a video with Mrs. Mucker and an arrow pointing to her holding the baby with her tongue hanging out and the devil emoji on her shoulder. Who in their right minds would do that to somebody else's mother and upload it to YouTube? If I was Mr. Mucker's mom, this girl would not be able to record me at all when I'm around her. She clearly can't be trusted. I bet Mr. Mucker told his mom, I told you something's wrong with her. Mr. Mucker is clearly trying to help with the child, but the only thing she is worried about is Latoya. Latoya better run to the hills because she has 18 more years to deal with this type of pettiness. Trust me, it's not an easy task. I have been there. I dated a man who had a one-year-old for several years. The baby mama would even come to his family functions and everything. You know what I had to do? Deal with it. All that drama and pain ain't even worth losing your sanity. I, I think Latoya had every right to speak up because Erica had dragged her name for months. I think she even said Latoya had HIV. Mr. Cryer has come out to talk. He claimed he is speaking up because he wants to stay on Erica's good side. Damien, you know you want them views on your channel. He said Latoya talked about his kids. However, Erica brought Latoya's kids up first. She said Latoya was broke and she didn't have no kids. I meant no school um, clothes for her kids. Mr. Cryer is 50 something dealing with all this drama. He should be the one to try to get everyone together. Instead, he is down with the drama until Erica flips on him again. I think Erica just uses him because she knows he has a weak spot for her. All I can say is this. YouTube drama is only going to do more damage in the courtroom. The court will see how much drama Erica brings to YouTube. I'm sorry, but with all this proof of her starting mess, the court will be in the father's favor. Mr. Mucker 
will be able to get his visitation rights once the paternity is established. And there is nothing Erica can do about it. There is no proof that he is a danger to the child. Erica is the type to push people's button until they snap. And that's exactly what Latoya did. Yes, we all understand why Erica is hurt. However, she can't blame this all on Latoya. Nobody can convince me that Mucker plans to have a child with Erica. The way that man looked at her in videos tells it all. Erica was in love with him. Erica and Mucker were broken up when Erica told the man that she was pregnant with his child. So righteously, Mucker was a free man before Latoya even got in the picture. Erica claimed he was talking to another girl. I think the girl was Janae. So Erica cannot blame Latoya for breaking up what she thought was going to be a happy home. The home was never going to be happy because Mucker wasn't happy, which was going to cause her more pain. Did y'all see the part where she was reminiscing about Mucker taking her on the first date? I heard to see where she parked. She was parked on one side of the restaurant and I was parked on another side of the restaurant. And I remember that place from somewhere, but I just could not figure out where. But when I walked in, I realized where. He took me on my first date at that restaurant. And it was not the one that you guys saw in our professionally shot video. It was not for YouTube. This was outside of YouTube. I remember begging him for a date. Like, when are you gonna take me on a date? And he would give excuse after excuse. So finally, I guess he just got tired of me asking and he picked a Mexican restaurant. This girl is still in love with Mucker. She would do everything in her power to break them up. Mucker and Latoya have spoken. Now they should just ignore her. You win when you are quiet. People hate to be ignored. When you look at Erica's video and Latoya's video, you see two totally different people. You see the innocent Erica. Then on Latoya's video, you see she's cussing like a Salem. She tries to convince her YouTube audience that Latoya's obsessed. But in Latoya's video, you can see who is truly obsessed. I hope she knows the grandparents are dealing with her because of the child. I'm sure they don't like how she put her son's business out there like that. The parents are always going to ride with their child and, grandch and grandchildren. Let the man get a DNA. He clearly has reasons to want one. In one of the videos, she said the baby was not a, mo not a mother mucker. Damien has come out and said he thought the baby was his. Just give the man a DNA so all the drama can stop. You already know what goes around comes back around and karma isn't going to skip anybody. They say she took Mr. Cryer from D, and now God done let someone get the man that she wanted. I can't say Latoya took him from her because they weren't together. And another thing, she stated she is the most talked about YouTuber. However, if you go to Voyage Houston, they tell you you can submit a story about yourself or someone you think deserves to be recognized. So by the looks of things, she probably submitted her own story, but congrats on her story being recognized. She talked about being two months pregnant and catching COVID. She had to stay in the hospital for a week and nobody had no remorse for her. She also talked about how she found God. All you have to do is type in Royal Houston and you can see her story. With that being said, I hope they get it together. Get it together. Let's get it together, babe. The moral of the story is being evil and vindictive gets you nowhere. If you're trying to change your life, we all can stand to be a little nicer. These are my thoughts, you guys. Let me know what you think about the situation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, bye-bye.